I want to bring in Senator Rob Portman from Ohio. He's a senior member of the Homeland Security Committee. And, and Senator, I know you're calling for better passenger screening coming into the United States, but I hope you just heard what Mary Schiavo said. We've talked to her on a variety of subjects, and she always is in the keep calm and carry on mm -hmm. camp. Mm -hmm. This time she says, ban the flights. It's a no-brainer. What do you think? Yeah, well, John, I think in general, uh, we need to be more aggressive uh, in addressing this. And I've called for that for the past month. And at a minimum, let's do active screening. Uh, as you know, we are not acting uh, in a way that we should be in terms of asking passengers where they have been, whether they've been in contact with someone uh, who's had Ebola. Um, and that's one reason we're having uh, the issues that we're having. So. Right now, it's what's called a, a passive questioning. If someone uh, exhibits the symptoms, um, then the Customs Border Patrol folks are allowed to take them aside. But it should be much more robust. And I don't understand, frankly, why the CDC isn't uh, insisting on that and, and directing uh, our Customs and Border Patrol folks to do that. What, in your estimation, does more robust screening look like? Because you and I have both flown, as has John. It already is quite an endeavor at the airport, especially if you're flying internationally. Give us an idea how it would be implemented. Well, Michaela, when, when you and I fly and come internationally, uh, we get asked whether we have been around livestock. Uh, we get asked whether we've been on a farm, whether we have any fresh fruits or vegetables. Uh, it's amazing that the simple questions uh, from people coming from West Africa are not, are not being asked. But who's to For say instance, they'll tell the truth? have you been in contact with someone with Ebola? In this well, case, they're required this, this to tell the truth under law. As you know, they, they can be prosecuted if, if they don't tell the truth. So it's, it needs to be seriously... Uh, you know, un undertaken by, by both the exit screening and the entrance screening. Uh, but let's at least ask the question. Uh, it's, it is amazing to me that we have now gone uh, really for several weeks uh, knowing that this problem is out there. Uh, I've been calling for active screening for some time. We checked again this morning because, look, I'm, I'm trying to work with the administration on this, and I would hope that they would be taking this more seriously, both in Africa in terms of a more aggressive response there and also here at home. Uh, I'm also very concerned that we're not prepared. The Inspector General at the Department of Homeland Security has, uh, as recently as a month ago, issued a report saying that we're not ready for a pandemic should that occur. In other words, we don't have the right equipment stockpiled. Much of it is out of date. We are not prepared in terms of a plan to deal with it. And we've been querying the Department of Homeland Security to ask them, you know, what are they doing in response to this Inspector General's report? We can't get answers back. So. I just don't think we're pre as prepared as we should be. I think, unfortunately, this is another example where the administration is not as, was not as engaged early on as they should have been, uh, and now we're playing catch-up. Senator, I, I guess I go back to my first question here. Would you consider or could you support banning flights from the Ebola hot zone coming to the United States, banning them altogether? Well, that's something we certainly ought to look at, John, and, and you know, I, I do think the countries in West Africa have a strong interest in ensuring that there are adequate exit screening and that they're working with us uh, to avoid any issues on those flights because for their economy this would be uh, this would be a huge problem um, but I think that's something we, we're going to have to look at because if we don't get more serious about this uh, it will spread and by the way when you look at what's happening in Africa today um, I think you know we were relatively late to the game now we're in there that's good uh, I applauded the administration when they finally took steps to actually begin particularly in Liberia to take a more aggressive approach but we've got to move and move very quickly because the disease is spreading so quickly. Uh, it's estimated, as you know, that by mid-January, uh, in other words, just a few months from now, there could be up to a million people who are infected. Uh, we've already uh, seen, uh, obviously, huge devastation in these countries. It's the 4,000 figure you've heard is believed to be underreported in terms of the number of deaths. So this is something where, overall, I just think uh, we need to be more aggressive and take a more robust approach.